he was 10 years, when he became a manager, he was 10 years ahead of anybody. Because if he was a manager now and the way he wanted to play, it was the way Arsene Wenger, when he came to Arsenal and changed him dramatically. But we, we used to play and he would not let, he would tell Eric Torsbeck, do not kick the ball long, play out from the back. For us at the beginning, for me, I loved it. I mean, but it was like, wow, what's all this about? Because when we used to play, the first thing would be first 10, 15, 20 minutes, kick the ball long and we'll play in there off. Ozzy went, no, 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 no. Play out from the back, from the beginning. And he played me as a, like a pivoti, a number six, so like a, where Bouquets plays. Or, and he said, Vin, everything comes through you, everything. Get it off the back four and start to dictate the play. It was like I died and gone to heaven. It was like, wow, this for me is, is total football. Um, yeah, we struggled at times. Don't get me wrong. We had some bad defeats, but it was like, if you score three, we'll score four. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we got exposed a lot of the time. But his way of thinking, which is so far ahead of, of the times when the Premier League or um, was obviously just pure force and strength. Um, so, but he stuck to his principles and he would never change. And this is what I, I respect about the man. It was like, it was, a, it was just fantastic to play for him, not just the way he played, but the way he spoke to people. He would tell you, he would sit down with you, talk to you about it, show you things. And you think, this is coming from a, a, a a World Cup winner. For me, when I think in England, we use the word world class as for players very loosely. Um, we can have some excellent players and we say they're world class. I find it very difficult because when you talk about world class, you've got to be very careful what you're saying because, but for me, he was world class because he's coming to a game that is so alien to what he's used to, him and Ricky Velia and adapted like, like duck to water. It was like amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, well I mean, Kim, I, I know that you're pointing out that we've missed the coach because, I mean, when, when Guardiola came to England having won copious trophies at Barcelona and, and by minute, he was still, people still, 20 years later, were saying, nah, I can't here, all that pish, all that fucking rubbish that he's proven was wrong. But if we use a time machine, it wouldn't be to use Aussie to the modern day coaching. What if we moved Aussie? You too, but he played in worse pitches. He played under worse refereeing conditions where the rules didn't protect all players. And he was so brave about taking the ball hard by McDonald's. What if, genuinely, Vin, Vinny, where would he fit? How would he play? What would he be regarded like? If you took prime Osvaldo Ardiles and, and dropped him in, I don't care if it's La Liga or the Premier League today as a you know, 23, 24-year-old. Describe what he'd be doing, what he'd be worth, where he'd be playing, what people would think of. But if you, you look at the way the transfer market is today, if Ozzy Ardiles was playing today, mm -hmm. in my opinion, he would get in any team in the Premier League. I'm talking about a City, a United, a Chelsea, a Liverpool, he would get in any of those teams. Eyes closed. Value? You've got to be looking at 100 million. Because, don't get me wrong, the only two centre midfield players who I've had the privilege to watch a lot and play against, who I believe are better than him, was Xavi Iniesta. 